the significance of this friendly against you? Uh, actually, the Ghana rugby, the Deaf rugby national team has qualified to participate in the World Cup next year, which will take place at Argentina. So, as, uh, as part of the program's lineup, we're making sure that the team is well prepared. We have lined up a series of international friendlies to, to play with more developed nations who are in the world. Wales happens to be the first team that has invited us officially to play with the Ghana. Oh, okay. And I'm speaking of preparation on our part, I mean, as Ghanaians, how far have you gone with preparation? Uh, actually, it, it has not been easy, but I think uh, the determination by the players, the technical team, and also the management team, we are doing a great job in making sure that the team is well prepared for the, for the tournament. And uh, you know, uh, the no money syndrome in the system, so we are a situation or a union that believes that at the time that we need to put everybody in the government alone. So whilst we are preparing for training and all other things, we are also going out to look for funding and support from, from the Ghanaian government and making sure that the team has a successful training. Now, okay, so speaking of that, have you been able to annex any sponsorship yet? Yeah, for now, at the moment, uh, Angel Group of Companies, uh, the producers of uh, Atlanta, happens to be our headline sponsor for now. Uh, actually, we really want to be in a, about three years working relation with them. So they are using the world's game as a test case for, for the team. They are depending on board so far, and uh, we remain grateful to Dr. Atlanta for the good word I asked for the hearing of the and certainly we have to appeal for more. Yeah, we have to appeal for more. And uh, also, uh, the Ashanti Regional Sports Authority, I think we need to commend them for the great job done. Uh, the director, James, the director himself has been very helpful. Mr. Ousu, the secretary as well. And uh, they have provided accommodation for camping. And uh, even yesterday, the three days ago, the director was in Accra to present a letter of request for protocol services for the team as much as they are traveling to go. So, and uh, we can conclude without showing appreciation for Mr. Herbert Mesa, the president of the Ghana Rugby Union. Uh, he has been very helpful together with the administrator, Madame Rafati, and the entire Ghana Rugby Union. He has been very helpful. You can see the coach that is training the team. It's also a coach that has been given to us by the Ghana uh, Rugby Union. That is the national coach, and he is taking the team. Wow, interesting. Speaking of the company, how has it been? Has it been challenging or, I mean, everything is under control? Yeah, for now, uh, everything is under control. Everything is under control. Even though uh, we are not able to get the needed funds that we need, but uh, everything is looking good because all preparations in work have already been completed. Talking about accommodation, feeding, and internal transport for the team, everything has been sorted out there. And uh, we are also working on our ticket and all other things. So uh, it is good to have a collaboration with Adonko. And uh, as I earlier on said, it's going to be about three to five years collaboration. But this is the test case. And after this, after coming back from Wolves, we are now going to sit down with them and sign the MOU with regards to the three to five years coming up. Uh, so I don't know who will be the official sponsor for the team. Yes, I don't know who will be the official sponsor for the team. Head match. Now, let's look at your plans and preparation. I mean, I'm talking about the itinerary between now and departure. How is it going to be like? Uh, for now, as you are aware, we are on campus. And, uh, Training will continue. The team will depart to the goals on the 20th of April. Small, whatever support we have, this is small. We are not asking anybody that bring us millions of dollars. Even if it is one crate of manure or water that you can provide to support this team, whilst we are on campus, we will appreciate it. So we are calling on all of them to come on board. We are calling on the celebrities, the religious body, the corporate bodies. Individuals, all Ghanaians should really come to work and support this team. And we can assure them that when we go to Rose, we're going to do well. And when we go to the World Cup next year, 
trust me, Ghana will bring the cup back to Hey. Oh my god. Thank you. Who? No. No, Biazi. The humble. <laughs> Three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 